am really excited for this video today. I've been telling you about this video for a while now and we're finally here. I want to become better as a person and especially in relationships. I do a lot of self-reflection and especially when having anxiety, my mind is always running. I'm always thinking about things I could have done better in, just in life in general. But I think it's always best to get in contact with people from your past so you can look at yourself and be like, okay, I've progressed in this way, I've done better. And see the things that you have not changed and you wish to change. But in order to do so, you had to talk to those people that you've experienced that lifetime with. The best ones for me to talk to are my ex-girlfriends. I've only had three serious relationships. That was my first girlfriend from 10 years ago, a second girlfriend from six years ago, and my ex-wife, uh, we separated last year. So I'm trying to get the other two involved, but as of right now, the first person you're gonna actually see is my second girlfriend. Her name is Brazil. She's a very interesting human, let me tell you. She is a loving, sweet woman and very creative, very artistic, and she doesn't judge anybody, okay? She's been judged so much in her life. And let me tell y'all something. She's the last person to be judged because she is a better human than most and people don't give people like her a chance and this is what I don't like in people. But that being said, I have not seen or talked to her in six years, okay? Six motherfucking years. This is gonna be interesting and uh, we got this on camera, y'all. Are y'all ready to get into this conversation? I'm about to call her right now. Hey, <laughs> I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah! How you feeling? Good. Are you nervous? A little bit. Yeah? Good nerves, bad nerves? What do you think? I uh -oh. don't know. I, get, I, I don't know. I'm a much more honest person now, so... Oh, shit. <laughs> what does this mean? You've always been honest, though. No, I haven't. No? Not with myself, Not with myself maybe. Mmm. Okay, I can see that. Oh, shoot. Well, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm nervous. I'm extra nervous. I was having anxiety Why? before I called you. Why? Because I don't know what you're gonna say. Most of it's good. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> most of it. <laughs> yeah, you're a good dude. Just because we didn't mesh well doesn't mean you're not like an awesome person. So most of the things are very good. Aww. Well, that's that's awesome to hear. And if it's bad, it's only because we weren't meant to be. True, true. And shit has to end some way, right? So right. some shit well, has to go down. <laughs> no, there's nothing bad, no. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the questions. So... Do that. Okay, so I, I already sent you the questions so you Wait. can be better prepared. I'm gonna break the ice. Okay, break I'm the ice. I'm sitting on my toilet. Okay, good shit. Because I do have six kids and there is no place in any house. <laughs> It's the bathroom. I'm like, everyone go pee. Um, <laughs> wait for someone to be like, is she on the toilet? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hell like, yeah, she on the toilet. And by the way, um, so the viewers know you are married, happily married, with six children. To a man. To a man. <laughs> Let that be known. <laughs> no, dude. I'm one of like the few women that like said that to some people and they're like, I don't believe it. What? Wait, what babe? You wanna come say hi? Yeah, bring her to the camera. Is this the baby? Yeah, this is my girl. Oh, let me see. Let me see. What's her name? Her name's Keeper. Keeper? Oh, I like that. Uh, it doesn't mean all of our kids. They all have awesome names. Hi, Keeper. How are you? Hi, you're so pretty. Look at you. Hi, Carol. Hi. Hi, baby. I heard you were smart. Is that true? You can spell your name a sign language if you like. Okay, for Keeper. Keeper, Aww. Keeper, no, Carol. That's right, Keeper. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Aww, Thank you. nice meeting you. Gordon. How old is she? <laughs> For real. <laughs> Dude. For real. Dude, if my sister was oh my way God. Me, me, I'd totally be like, did you cheat on me? <laughs> she does look like her. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> it's this expected. Hi. <laughs> okay, hi. Nice to meet you. Give me a kiss. Aww, no one else. Oh, so sweet. Go. Close the door. Yeah, have some. Go to bed. I'll be honest. My son just came in. He wants to pee. Oh, shoot. <laughs> is that why you moved <laughs> out of the seat? <laughs> this is my uh, youngest son. This is Raiden. Hi, Raiden. Nice to meet you. He's nonverbal, so he can say hi and other things, but he signs. Oh, okay, okay. Well, hi. Handsome. Look at him. What's that mean? 
means thank you or like um, we're accepting the information that's going on. You know? Oh, okay. This means good, thank you, well-being. Everyone's like, oh, I feel so bad because you can't speak. There's nothing wrong with this mind. <laughs> Oh, so sweet. Let's see. Let's Zabian see. is, um, he's my Virgo and he's a, he's a showboat. Hi. Nice to meet you. You guys are getting big dance. fast. You like to dance. Oh, can you yeah, show me some moves? He's a good dancer. Can you Carol, show me? He dances like you. <laughs> <laughs> like me? Oh, that means you got moves, boy. Let me see. No, I swear to God he does. He dances just like you. <laughs> Let me see them dance moves. <laughs> No, he won't do it. <laughs> this is uh, Corbin, my redhead prince. Let's see. Hi. Oh, you are a redhead. Look at that. Hi. Uh, nice to meet like you. Just daddy's beard. <laughs> just the beard, this is my huh? Oldest, Makoto. Hi. Nice to Hi. meet you. Oh my god, you guys are so nice. You guys are so sweet. Aw. I like you guys. Can y'all be my kids? Huh? They'll say yes because they don't like us. Oh, damn. <laughs> so you ready to start these questions? The first question is, and if you remember, which I know, I know you do, and I remember as well, how did we meet and when? We, <laughs> we met at the strip club. We uh, sure did. My body has been a stripper for a while at a time, and your cousin is a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Introduced us, yeah. No! He's like, you don't like me? Fine. You're like my cousin. <laughs> I don't know how many pictures he showed me of you, and I swear to Christ, I did not look at the picture. <laughs> oh my God. Because your cousin's an asshole. Yeah, he is. My cousin is an asshole. We're still trying to uh, oh. figure out our relationship, so. You know, I didn't want to be an asshole, but I was just like, leave me alone. No, I get it. I get it, but instead of leaving you alone, he brought his cousin. <laughs> to try to hook so, up with you. So, Exotica came. That's what it was. It was the night of Exotica. Yeah. Because I'm trying to tell you I didn't know you were coming. Yeah, see? My you cousin. Know, because you were like a, um, honestly, I thought you were like a story that he made up in his phone, <laughs> you know? This is something you don't know. And I saw you walking in with Frank because I'm very used to looking in at the, uh, at door the to see uh -huh. if my regulars are coming in. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I saw Frank come in because I always see Frank come in and I was thinking, I always got a dyke with it. <laughs> I was like, that's his cousin. I swear to God, <laughs> like, I did not know what you looked like. It was the very mean to you. Yeah, yeah. You were an ass. And it's funny though because I don't think you meant it in a mean way though. I think that's just, that's just how you being playful, maybe? No. I could be wrong, so you were really being an ass. See, I just I just take shit well then, I guess. No, I meant it in a mean way. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it was funny because I remember um, this moment when you were sliding down the pole. You were sliding down the pole upside down. And then I said something. I don't know what I said, but I think I, think I broke the ice that moment. Because you started to laugh. So you were laughing. So I'm like, okay, she's not that bad. She's not that mean. Well, I'm horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how was I as a girlfriend when we did get together? You were very different. In what way? What does that mean? In a good way, because you were um, a lot more mature and a lot more put together, I guess, than some people I've been with. What was your favorite thing about me? You, well... You can't I even find one, huh? <laughs> you no, can't even find one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. Well, I'd like to say it's what everyone else liked about you, which was your stability and all that other stuff. Mm. Mm. But I think that's, I don't know if I like that. I don't, I don't think that's your type of lifestyle. Right. I think. Well, I, it wasn't at the time. Yeah, for sure. I was too young, I guess. Um, I guess I liked, you always surprised me. Let's put it that way. You always surprised me, even when it wasn't even a big surprise. And it went, when it was a huge surprise, you definitely... Surprise me. Aww. Quite often, yeah. <laughs> what is your least favorite thing about me? Be honest, um, which I know you will be. No, I think it was... <laughs> no, I don't want to say that. Say camera. it. Say it on camera. No. Say I it. I think about it until now, and now I feel like it's something I shouldn't say. Just say it. Carol, don't hate me, okay? We okay. haven't talked in a long time. I feel like this is a very bad thing to say. <laughs> say it. I feel like that if I had to complain to you, and I definitely have complained to you. I think I know what it is. A new lover, it would be, um, the I, you know. 
I knew that was it. level. No, because I tell I tell my new people like, dude, she said she's not like super intimate, but I thought that was like once a month. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, I don't consider myself to be very sexual. It takes a long time for me to get into it, and it has nothing to do with my partners. I'm like this with everybody. You and know what? But it had to do a lot with the fact that at the time I was like a hundred pounds smaller and I was like, everyone loved me. Okay, like, girl. You know, for real, so everyone wanted yeah. to like fuck me or be with me. And it was hard that I had a girl and she didn't want to be with me. That's how I felt because yeah. I was immature and I didn't understand. Um, no, it's, it's completely understandable. I don't think it was immaturity. It's the just it's I understandable. Now, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that was not bad, honestly. I, I saw that one coming. I think most of my partners would say the same just thing. Just keep coming. Okay. <laughs> okay, so next question. What is your favorite memory of us? Oh, Lord, I think it's when you proposed to me. <laughs> That's your favorite? Don't get me wrong, you two. She's done me good a whole bunch of times. We went skydiving and all this other stuff, but the proposal was just so well thought out. It was, not, it was almost like too well thought out. And I, I proposed to you. Very special. Yeah, I proposed to you on your, it was your favorite holiday, right? Halloween? Stop back to like you <laughs> I was Jack Skellington, and you were Sally, and you actually made our costumes. So we were pretty awesome. And I proposed to you at the lesbian club on the microphone in front of a and lot of people. Won. <laughs> they did not give us our prize. They didn't, they're such assholes, girl. And what is your worst memory of us? Shit. The night you Shit. proposed to me. <laughs> Explain! <laughs> mm, can we wait till the last question okay. for me to explain? Okay. Okay. Alright. Next qu <laughs> question. What is your biggest regret about the relationship? Nothing, girl. There's gotta be, no? Not one little thing. Me neither. I have no regrets. Let me hear, let me hear you, girl. I have no regrets. regrets. Because, I'm gonna tell you what. I abused the shit out of you. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't know you were gonna say that. I didn't want to put and you I'm in a sure bad light. You probably pissed me off a couple of nights where uh -huh. someone would like you. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Um, I was definitely worse to you than you was to me, but it's not the point. Because I do believe that uh, I am a follower of God now, and I feel like God has a plan for everyone. And I feel like all the bad things that ever happened to me was a blessing because I learned something. And for sure. Not that I'm glorifying myself, because I definitely am not in any way I treated you badly. And if you were treated badly, if you still feel some kind of way, I am sorry. But um, I just feel like life is a is a journey that you have to take. And I, uh, my time with you is one of the blissful in my life. So <laughs> Thank you. I've been through some horrible stuff and I still love that stuff. So I definitely love you. Yeah, you have a great heart. Like, I know when things went down, it wasn't, there wasn't malice behind it. And most of the time, you were under the influence. So it wasn't like, yeah, that was the, you know what I'm saying? So I recognize that. Yeah, of course. So I don't look at you as a bad person at all. Shit happens, you know what I mean? And you went through some shit in life. So I'm just very understanding of why people are the way they That's are. never an excuse to be an asshole, but. It, yeah, it, but you live and you it learn. It's a good excuse to not be an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> it tells the latter. Yeah, so what did you learn from the relationship? I learned that I'm a child, bro. <laughs> like, you a kid? <laughs> what you mean? Because so many people ask me, like, what they wrong? Or like, because I described you originally, even when I was mad at you, I would describe you as like a very stable, loving person. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, well, what? <laughs> what was the issue? Number one, I'm selfish. <laughs> Oh, two, I'm girl. Loving, no. <laughs> yeah, I definitely left you because you weren't a child and I was uh, down to play. <laughs> it makes sense. We didn't, we didn't. When you were nothing, I wasn't doing any of that. I just yeah. wanted you to play with me and you were like elevated. And now that I am, I understand why you did. So. Mm. Uh, so what did you think of my friends? Okay, how about Cecilia? Uh, you know, as you know, she passed away. That was my best friend of 19 years. I guess. Uh, 
if you want me to be real, be honest real. with you. As if she's still here, be real. Like. Yeah, I didn't expect her to even ask that, so. Yeah. Well, I have self-esteem problems, so oftentimes I see people above me. And I felt her above me, but not in a way that she made me feel that way. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? She wasn't pompous or anything. In fact, I liked her quite a bit. It kind of struck me as hard because it's easy when you say that one of your junkie friends passed away. Yeah. Easy and it happens all the time. But I guess you start meeting people that make an imprint in your life. And she just seems so wonderful. And a lot of junkies will tell you they go to rehab and meet some really crazy people who could draw like you've never seen and mm. picture like you've never seen and dance like you've never seen. Mm. And you know that. I yeah. know you know that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you got family and all that other stuff, mm -hmm. too. Me, myself. Yeah. But she was... I haven't thought about her in a long time, dude. She was like an angel. Aww. I was never jealous of her. I was never mad at her. I always thought she was a good friend to you. And it almost made me feel more human that she was like me, I guess. Everyone's got skeletons in their closets. Some show them, some don't. It's crazy because uh, she was the one that told me that you were using. And I didn't know, obviously, till she told me. It was like a couple years later. So I was like, and I, surprisingly, I didn't know I was gonna feel the way that I felt when she did tell me. When she told me, I was like, well, that's, that sucks, you know, that's sad. I felt like hurt for you. Like I wanted to help you, but there was no fucking way. Well, of course she couldn't. Uh, that shit went deep. So the next question is, did you keep the presents I gave you? What presents? What presents? Honestly, girl? I don't think I gave you much. Cool. I don't think I gave you shit, did I? Nothing. No, right? No. I think at the time, like, you may, I mean, you may have thought that I was stable, but girl, I was struggling. No, stable compared to me, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who put more effort in the relationship? You. Oh, shit. That was a quick answer. You. <laughs> you think you. so? Why? How? You. In what way? In several ways. You are like, I feel like if you dated Martha Stewart, <laughs> it would still be you. So I feel like you put that question in there <laughs> to make yourself look good, girl. No. <laughs> you already look good. I so really not. want to know. I really want to know. Like, did, did I really? I just, I feel like I could have done more. Well, yeah, you could have done more shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you <laughs> never I, asked for shit. It was your affection and yeah. the way I wanted it was a very selfish way, the way I wanted it. And you gave it to me in other ways and I ignored it because I was young. Did your friends or family hate me? I don't even know. You don't know? You never asked them or they never talked to you about it during that time? I think my mom liked you. I think your sister kind of has something against me a little bit. Oh, she still does to this day. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I never know what Jordan wants or needs. I don't know, but... It's funny because she's the one I had to reach out to to get to you, <laughs> so... She always tell me what's up. Like, I haven't talked to her in years and we just got back together and we're doing better. I don't really know if they had much feeling against or towards you. There was not much of an opinion. It was just, it just okay, really, this is no. Brazil's I don't think I shared much about you. I don't think I shared much about myself at that time, so... Yeah, makes sense. Well, they were all very nice to me. Uh, what would you have done differently? Nothing. That's right. I agree. Good, Every good. Every time I hurt you, you needed it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I did. Every time you hurt me, I needed it. <laughs> yep. We're better because of it, yeah? Yep, I agree. Um, how do you feel seeing me now? Joyful because uh, I find it um, very spiritual to be um, able to talk to somebody in your past after you've been through something so dark because a lot of people won't even associate with you anymore. Yeah. So the fact that you reached out to me is nice and it just connected me with your past, good or bad, is nice. Yeah, yeah. I think you look very beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. You do too, girl. You do too, girl, but you already know that. <laughs> you got braces. I did. I had braces. I finally got them out, though. <laughs> a little neck tattoo. Don't do it to me. Hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you look super happy, which I'm really happy about because yeah. I love when people are happy. It's so good for you. It's funny because I almost took my life. So I figured yeah. that you've had a hard row from the couple videos I've been watching. But, um, yeah, but I'm better now. If you could tell me anything, what would you say? I'll confess something to you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Let me prepare myself. 
Okay. When you get sober, they have you make a list of things you should tell people, you know. Okay. And uh, I feel like I should tell you this. I don't know if it's even bad or good, but no, it's definitely bad. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, the <laughs> night you proposed to me. Look at me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. What? I wasn't looking at her. <laughs> The, the night you proposed to me, uh -huh. uh, I knew you was going to propose to me. You knew? Yes. How? The fuck did um, you know? I knew about an hour and a half before it happened. What the fuck? Yes. And it was so... Dude, it was the only... I feel like crying. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only disappointing part of everything because I really didn't know, Carol. What? <laughs> what you mean? Oh, about us? Know. About us? Getting yes, married? I did not know. Like, mm. we were fighting. I know. I kissed you and I felt the ring in your pocket. You felt that shit? What? <laughs> I think he was too drunk to notice. You <laughs> <laughs> totally felt me feeling that ring box. And you were like... What? I like, yeah, I was hey. drunk. Mm. So then you proposed and it was so goddamn romantic. But I have to admit to you that, like... A half hour before that, I was thinking I'm gonna say yes on the stage and I'm gonna tell her no later. I was thinking the whole time, why would she do this when we're having problems in front of every fucking body? Because I'm not gonna embarrass her like that, but it's gonna hurt her even more. Yeah. You know? And then I ended up fucking up myself, which was probably self consciously on purpose, so I didn't yeah. have to do this. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't even you, it was me. Yeah. It was me the whole time. It wasn't that you were wonderful or pretty or great <laughs> or whatever it wasn't that and yeah you know that. yeah 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 for sure so I just want you to know that that has actually been on my mind for a while i've been thinking like i should have just told her even like we were angry breaking up i should be like bitch right so, no and you still did it <laughs> i totally remembered going to that mall and you went into that uh jewelry store and you were like well if you were gonna get married or whatever and that was months beforehand <laughs> and you picked out the exact <laughs> ring yeah that doubt yeah and that was really romantic and that made it even harder i'm like no i can't no <laughs> That sucks. You know what sucks? I think that was like a, an ideal proposal for you if it was a different person. I didn't want to be like bring up bad stuff, but I wanted to mention to the world like how thoughtful you are. You're very thoughtful and uh, thank you. You know, I'm in love uh, and I am uh, over the moon and I got all these kids and everything like that. But that's, I guess I told my husband that earlier. That's the most romantic thing that's probably ever happened to me. Aww. And I didn't even like her at the time. <laughs> Facts. But she knew my soul and she knew what I yeah. wanted. She gave me what I wanted and that was just very romantic. So thank you. <laughs> and you did and you did end the engagement though, because I remember one day waking up, we got into an argument, whatever the fuck happened. I woke up and you had the ring on the nightstand. I'm like, okay, alright, well that ended that engagement. And you know what's crazy? And I, I don't know if you remember this. Um we did end it like I think three months after that, after you stopped the engagement. Yeah. But afterwards, I wanted to have that conversation with you and I apologize for certain things. I felt like you made the best decision for us because I, I would never be able to make that decision for us. So I think I thanked you. Oh my God. So thank you. I know I have a lot of flaws that I still carry until this day in relationships that I wish I can change and I'm trying to, I guess. But then there's some things that I don't know that I want to know that I don't see. So going back into my past, I like to. I want to see how I progressed and what things I still need to work on. So thank you so how old much. Are you now is Carol. Girl, I'm 35 years old mm -hmm. and single still. Okay, Go so <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. I mean, it is what it is. Shit happens, and yeah, you were the first person I was engaged to. <laughs> Feel special because you are, and your husband knows that he that you are too. So he already knows. <laughs> That's so awesome. I'm happy for you. I want to tell you that. I'm happy that you you are clean now and you have a yeah. beautiful family and you're still a good person. And I and talking to you right now in this conversation, I still see Brazil in some ways that yeah. I, that I knew. So yeah, you too. So that's awesome. No, I see the whole dude. I see the whole thing. My sister's like, look at her YouTube channel. I'm like, this bitch has not changed. <laughs> I feel like I look better nowadays.
days than I did in the past. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> You're still the same old Carol. <laughs> well, thank you so much, girl. I appreciate you. And thank you no, for... No, thank you, too. It was good talking to you. Yes. Have fun with all them baby kids. And I will talk oh, to you yeah, soon. <laughs> you have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Mommy, I want some cereal. <laughs> You're not eating cereal. It's late. Go. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Yo, I was sweating, I ain't lying, I ain't lying. That was a great conversation and that is something that I'm gonna cherish always. I appreciate her so much for taking the time to do this with me. She does not have to. And I appreciate her husband as well for understanding that what this was about and being okay with this whole conversation. Brazil, thank you, girl. Having that conversation with you reminded me on why I loved you. So I appreciate you so much. Look out because I might get another ex involved. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.